Dave Boucher here. This presentation is about basic SAP tasks in accounting and finance. First we have an invoice. Basically on this invoice here, you know, obviously you enter in all your information from the payment terms, dates, and main two tabs that you use a lot are the payment tab and this tax tab here. After all the data and written information enter in, obviously we, what we like to do is look at the database and see how it's actually linked because if there are discrepancies you can always go back and look at the live data instead of just the forms. General ledger is the next important point and the main points on this obviously as, you, as you're entered in we have a setup of the, the certain fields set up a certain way but our main ones that I like to look at of course are the account receivable invoices because you want to see uh, what type of data is entered in for the um, receivables because those are the issues that we always have a lot and then the balances for those shown too. You can also can do you know sales returns and other types of revenues and, exp and expenses themselves. And then the journal entry is the actual entry itself. The data, you know, you got your debit and your credit with the database view as you see down here and whatever other posting and reference information you want to enter in. And then you got your check. Um, this is actual check information that you know either received or, or paid out. And with this, this obviously has all the bank information from the city and the customer and the payment number. Uh, we also use uh, company docs where you attach the actual te te doc via scanned type of PDF. And then here is our duplicate check for invoices. We would have multiple invoices doing the same thing entered in, or uh, very similar types and they were just entered in a little bit differently. So we set up a check for du uh, duplicate invoices uh, doing a drop down menu mo modules through logistic invoice verification and income and then incoming invoice themselves. We have several checks set up here but this is our set check for a duplicate invoice page. And then what we did is for all the companies themselves the three main checkpoints is the check um, company code check reference and check invoice dates and then next is the uh, payment terms well here we, we, we drill down to the purchasing and then define the terms of, of payment themselves so to set that up uh, we define the payment terms for accounting account receivable it can be used for several different things but we use it for account receivable and accounts payable basically when an invoice is received the default the default payment terms is, is then also then retrieved. And so what we want to show here is that you got your percentage and your, your number of days of, of, of the net 30. We also can set it up, you know, 45, 25. But what we're going to look at, obviously on this here, the terms of payment, you know, you can set it up by customer and vendor and document date. But ours is 30, so the number of days, like you see down here, is 30. And so 2% in 10 days it is the, pretty much the term as you see here as, it, as this module right here is the total summary 2 percent 10 days is a net 30 of that due date and also too a, a main area is reconcile basically the reconciliation and internal reconciliation is, is used a lot um, to match the company's uh, data invoices uh, amounts balances to the banks or whoever else to reconcile the differences. So mostly accounting, but finance obviously uses that too a lot. And then depreciation. Uh, this is a huge area because in the depreciation side, it's arranged according to the business and legal requirements. So it, it manages all the rules uh, for the asset valuation. So as you see here, this is basically just defining a depreciation area themselves. And this, this right here is the chart of the depreciation area where you have several different uh, areas or fields and this is just a description of it but these are several of the uh, depreciation areas themselves that can then be uh, drilled down more into detail. And then the tax is very similar where you have your tax set up to several different areas of the company with, with your code and then this is the detail of the withholding tax. So in this special module uh, the account numbers are defined for withholding the account, account, tax accounts themselves. Basically, the system posts the tax amount, and the tax amount is then withheld itself. 
And then obviously uh, cash flow. We're on the cash flow side. It you know, shows your checks, your credit, debit, uh, your cash accounts, liabilities. You can set the fields up however you want. Uh, this obviously is used at the end, towards the end of the business, but always mod modeled because of the balance. And you want to make sure that the flow is flowing in and out. SAP is very flexible on that one. And then accounts receivable aging, another very important uh, and highly used uh, module. This has detail of the account receivable. It can be even set even more to where you can look at more vendor information. And finally, uh, total, totality of the business of this part one is profit and loss. The profit and loss statement can be set up several ways, several you know detail. I, this is just set up to look at an actual budget and variance and percentage variance um, to see your revenue minus expenses of, of a P&L statement but it can be set up several different ways in SAP. It's very flexible.